Yo, fellas, these mind games fragrances are blowing my mind. All right. So what I've done here, I have a full sample set of all 10 of the fragrances. I have three full bottles, two on the way. So I really want to talk to you guys about what I consider to be the top five. The top five mind games fragrances. Yeah. Let's talk about that. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Darren, the bow tie. Fragrance guy, we cover fashion and fragrance on this channel, man. I love looking my best and smelling my best every day. So if you love doing the same thing, then we should get along pretty good on this channel. I hope you won't mind subscribing. And if you do that, make sure you hit that bell icon as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So guys, on today's video, we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the fragrance brand that is Mind Games. All right, mind games. And not to sound corny, man, but seriously, these fragrances seem to play tricks on people's minds. They are really, really, really good. And that is no exaggeration. I want to send a shout out to So Avant Garde, man, which is a uh, online boutique uh, for fragrance shopping. You guys need to check it out. You know, I do have a discount code, which is Darian20, if you want to get anything from So Avant Garde. But if you want to shop mind games as well, you go to the mind games website and you put in the code Darian10, and you'll get 10% off of anything on the site pertaining to mind games. So I want to go ahead and put that out there. Um, I did receive the bottle or in the in the sample set that I want to talk about today from uh, So I'm on Guard, but I ordered two bottles on my own that are on the way. I'm going to tell you what those bottles are in a moment. But anyway, we're going to be jumping into the brand of mind games. I want to give you guys what I feel are the top five because there's 10 fragrances in the entire collection right now, but I heard that there are some new fragrances coming. Uh, but right now, there are 10 fragrances in the portfolio, and I want to tell you guys what my top five are so far. Those are going to include the three bottles that I have, plus the two that I have on the way, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to go ahead and run the intro, and when we come back, we're jumping into it, the top five fragrances from the brand of Mind Game. So if you want to see what I chose, then you guys know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bow Tie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into this video. So like I said in the opening, guys, I really want to focus on the top five from the brand. I have smelled all of these fragrances. Now, I have the sample set right here, which, of course, I want to talk about that. You guys can head over to Mind Games if you want to purchase this same sample set. It has all 10 fragrances uh, from the entire lineup that are included in this sample set. So you kind of have like the, the uh, white collection and the black collection. So um, all of them are in this set. You can check all of them out. Again, I have smelled all of these before. And um, I was able to come up with what I feel like sincerely are my favorite five from the entire portfolio. Now, I will say this. There is nothing that I smell that I did not like. And sincerely, uh, that's 100% telling you guys the truth. I didn't smell anything out of this, any of these 10 that I did not like. But again, I do have my favorite, so that's what I want to get into. First, let's start with the bottles. So the newest one that I received is this bottle right here that I want to talk about first, and this one is called Grandmaster. All right, so if you guys have seen my other videos that I've done on Mind Games, you know that the other two fragrances I have from this brand that I absolutely love come from this same collection. And I would say that this fragrance I would categorize as a coffee fragrance. Coffee and rose are the main notes to my nose. So you're gonna get a heavy dose of rose with this one and you're going to get coffee. Now there is another note in here called Panettone, which I think is kind of a fantasy note. Uh, but uh, Panettone is one of those fantasy notes that kind of gives this very gourmand uh, vibe to fragrances. So that pairs really well with the coffee uh, in this fragrance. But guys, again, these fragrances are absolutely uh, mind-blowing, and I guess that's probably why they came up with the name uh, for the brand of Mind Games, because it, they are really, really that good. Now, if I were putting these in order, I'm not sure where I would put this yet, uh, but obviously it's in the top five because 
I love coffee and I love rose fragrances. And like I said a few videos back, one of the things I love about this is when I put my nose to it, it doesn't necessarily remind me of anything else. And that's saying a lot because I have a lot of rose fragrances in my collection, to, a collection so to find something that's unique is very, very uh, impressive to me. But I, let me spray this on my wrist and see if I can talk to you guys a little bit more about this one and what I get from it. Amazing. Amazing. Again, definitely rose. I would say it's a rose-based fragrance. There's definitely some spiciness in the opening. I get a slight hint of green as well. I think that's coming from the black currant. That's the way it's kind of coming off in this fragrance. Yeah, but you get that, man, the rose, the coffee, and like I said, the panettone. There's definitely the notes, the main notes to my nose. But this is another dynamite fragrance from Mind Games. Grandmaster. I knew when I saw the note breakdown that I would probably like this. And I was 100% correct. So this is definitely another one that you guys need to check out. Especially if you like rose fragrances or coffee fragrances, then you need to check out Grandmaster. Now, although I'm not really going in order of like one to five, I would probably say this is my favorite. This is the one that has gotten the most compliments uh, so far from the bunch, and that's Double Attack. That's Double Attack. And this is a very unique fragrance as well that features the note of bitter orange and dark chocolate. This thing is absolutely... This thing is absolutely stunning. I'm telling you guys, and I know that a lot of you guys have tried this one, and you've tried the next one that, I want, that I'm going to talk about, and you have gotten similar responses and results from wearing these fragrances. Again, I cannot tell you guys how good this is. Again, the most complimented, easily, uh, out of the bunch. Definitely one of my top five favorites. Again, what's in here? You got Bitter Orange uh, in this one. You have... Uh, dark chocolate uh in this one as well so again it's just a phenomenal scent you know phenomenal uh fragrance i love that you know that orange juicy orange opening how it's contrasted with that chocolate accord in this fragrance is absolutely mind-blowing now you also get this kind of leathery saffron as it dries down to really give it that masculine feel you know and really give it that i think that edge as far as the sex appeal so again double attack i'm pretty sure you guys will love this one as well and guys i would probably have this one in the number two spot and the reason why i'm not necessarily putting them in order yet is because the other two that i have on the way i've smelled them and sampled them but i really want to see how they how they wear on my skin and i'm gonna tell you what those two are that are round out the top five but guys this next one man jadoob oh my god this is absolutely fantastic this one is centered around the note of pomegranate all right this is centered around the note of uh of pomegranate uh, so you get some pomegranate in here and rose, leather, and patchouli. So those are the main notes to my nose in this one. And like I said, pomegranate, kind of like plum, very underutilized note in male fragrances, although I think anybody could really get away with wearing most of the fragrances from this entire collection. But man, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, very close between this and Double Attack right now for my favorite. This is so good, man. So definitely in the top five, easily. Jadoob, Double Attack, and Grandmaster. And now I want to tell you guys about the two bottles that I ordered myself that are on the way. So guys, to round out the top five, I have two bottles that are on the way. So I'm going to use the sample from the sample set to really talk about these fragrances right now. But this would definitely be in my uh, top five, and this one is called Checkmate. This one's called Checkmate. So just so you guys can see, this is what uh, your sample comes in a little box like this. So I want to open it and just tell you guys a little bit about this one um, and what it smells like. Man, shout out to uh, a friend of mine here on YouTube, Sheree C. Lewis. Um, I heard her talk about this fragrance and she said her husband and uh, she and her husband went out on a date and she couldn't get enough of smelling him wearing this. And um, listen, I can probably understand because this thing is absolutely phenomenal as well i'm gonna break these down man i'll probably do it on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram make sure you do that uh but on instagram i'm probably gonna actually put these in order once i get the bottles and talk to you guys about what my actual top five is and how i would actually rank these all right so oh man. 
This is so freaking good. This is crazy, man. Seriously, these fragrances are so good, it's crazy. Like, there's this really sparkling, kind of effervescent feel that you get from this in the opening. I think that's coming from, there's a champagne accord in this fragrance. But I definitely pick up some rose as well. I think rose is kind of, uh, plays a role in a lot of these fragrances, it seems like. But that, along with that champagne accord, again, very sparkling, very uh, effervescent feel that it gives to this fragrance combines really beautifully with that rose in here. Oh my God, this is good. Um, when this starts to dry down, guys, I will tell you uh, what I get. Primarily, I start to pick up on some patchouli and I get this very green kind of earthy oak moss. Really gives that sexy masculine feel uh, to this fragrance. And that really contrasts well uh, with the champagne according to Rose, which would probably lean a little bit more feminine. Uh, but again, with the oak moss in here, with the patchouli that really grounds it, gives, gives it this really earthy, like I said, in my opinion, masculine feel. So I could see why this would probably appeal to women when you wore this because, you know, that champagne accord, that rose is going to really draw them in. And then they get that really masculine feel on the dry down. Uh, with the patchouli uh, in this, uh, man, and that oak moss, this is an absolutely stunning fragrance, man. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be a hard top five to do. It's going to be really hard. But this is one that would definitely make the top five. This is called Checkmate. Now, the other fragrance that I purchased that would round out my top five, this one is called Blockade. This one is called Blockade, and this one, I will tell you guys, is centered around a note of mango. This is centered around a note of mango. And again, um, easily in the top five to me, uh, Blockade, I'm gonna spray my hand here. Yeah, of all the ones that I have in my top five, this is the most spring, summer appropriate. And again, it has that juicy mango uh, in the top of the fragrance. So it really gives you that, that kind of tropical feel. I think notes like mango, coconut, uh, notes like that really give me a nice, um, you know, feeling of summer. You know, and that's kind of sort of what this fragrance does. Out of all of them, this would be a little bit more of, like I said, a spring, summer, more playful a little bit playful, but with a nice amount of sex appeal. And that's something that I think this brand has been really good with doing. Um, and I think what they're kind of centered around. You know, there's other brands out there that kind of do uh, sexy fragrances. Killian being one, Tom Ford, I think, uh, is another one that comes to mind. But I would throw now Mind Games in that conversation of fragrance brands that really just do, you know, sexy fragrances well. Mind Games is definitely in that conversation. But yeah, man, Mango... Oh my gosh, this one is so good. This is the juicy fragrance, man. This is so good. That mango on this is so good, man. It's so well done. And that's another thing I can say overall about all the scents that I put my nose on. Um, like I said, I don't think you guys could really go wrong with anything from this, um, this brand. So I would say definitely get you a sample set. Get a sample set. Try these fragrances out. I'm eagerly waiting, receiving my bottle of Checkmate and Blockade. You know, that way I can really give you guys a one through five and put these in order of which is my favorite of one to five. But I love all five of these fragrances. Obviously, that's why it would be in my top five. But anyway, guys, I just want to kind of give you guys an overview. Um, encourage you guys, you know, to maybe get the sample set and really try all 10 of these fragrances. I would very interested in seeing what you guys would uh, say is your top five. You know, so as a matter of fact, if you guys have smelled any of these, what's your favorite so far? I know some of you have tried uh, the recommendations that, you know, I've given already, uh, which were uh, the first two, uh, Jadub and Double Attack. But if you have any more sampled any more fragrances from this brand, I would love to hear what your favorite fragrance is down in the comment section. But that is all I have for you guys today. Of course, don't forget to go over to So Avant Garde and, uh, of course, Mind Games and check out uh, fragrances from this brand. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell Amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.
Peace.